Hey everybody, I'm Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and welcome to another edition of Simple to Stunning Sundays. I'm so excited about our cards for today because they're just so bright and happy and cute and easy. That's the best part. So I'm going to be featuring two items. They're both retiring and I think they're both definitely worth getting. One is the Very Devases stamp set. This is a really cute stamp set and it coordinates with the Very or the vase builder punch. Now the punch will continue to be available, but the stamp set won't. There's also another set called Vibrant Vases that is also really good and I recommend both. Um, I'm also going to pair that with the Forever Lovely dies. I wanna say these are like, ooh, I can't, Springtime Lovely dies maybe? Oh, I had it written down and then I think I threw away my paper. Lovely flowers. I found my paper. <laughs> this is the Lovely Flowers dies, and we're going to be using this piece right here and this piece right here. I really like this die be set because there's a lot of really fun parts to it, and then it also cuts out this gorgeous edge piece, which is really cool. Anyway, it coordinates with the Forever Lovely stamp set, also a great set, and this right now is... um getting clearanced out at a great price. So I definitely recommend picking it up. So let's get started. Our cards are all going to be done on our note cards and envelopes. I love these because you get a set of pre-scored note cards with a coordinating sized envelope. It's a little bit smaller than a standard card, but the great news is that it will mail just fine. And I like it because you can create just cute little quick note cards to send to somebody. All right, so I've got my note card here and I'm going to take my little vase stamp and I'm going to ink it up in some Bermuda Bay ink. Now I'm using one uh, color scheme, I guess, or one color combination on all the cards, but I'm going to switch up the colors just a little bit on each card. All right, so I'm just going to start by stamping my vase right here at the bottom, and I'll add my sentiment, which actually I need to clean really quick because it's in the wrong color. Ooh, I've got my Stampin' Chamois in here, and I'll stamp this, like I said, uh, in some Night of Navy ink. Okay, so um, there we go. Hello. I also die cut a bunch of these little flowers and leaves ahead of time. And I'm going to take one of the larger ones and then two of the smaller ones. And I'm going to put them on my card with glue dots. Now, the easiest way to do this is actually with your take your pick tool. I love this tool because it is just so handy. Um, I'm going to pick this up and place it right in the center of my glue dot, which is just, like I said, super handy. And then I'm going to take it off like this. And I kind of like to kind of bend my petals up a little bit if I can. Actually, I want to start with my largest one. Okay, so I'm going to just place that right here. And then I'll place this one right over here. And we'll grab the final one and bend those up. Okay. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now I'm also going to combine that with um, some of the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. Now this entire project came about because I have a whole bunch of these. <laughs> I wanted to find a really cute way to use them. And the other day I was on the Demonstrator Planning Place, which is this um, Facebook group for dem Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, and you can share your ideas on there. And I saw a super cute card, and I think I think it was by Jenny Polly, who's a um, 
German demonstrator, but I'm not positive. Anyway, that's my card. Super duper easy. Isn't that cute? So, of course, now we have to step it up. So Jenny had put the little dots inside. I don't know if she used the same flowers as I was using, but inside little flowers, and I thought it was adorable. All right, next up, I wanted to take it up a notch. You know that's kind of how I work. So I'm going to start again with another note card. And this time, I'm going to add to it a stitched shape. So the stitched shapes are one of my favorites. Now, if you saw that they're on the discontinuing list, don't worry. They're, they're not getting discontinued. Um, they will continue to be available in the new catalog. They just have a new number. And um, I apologize for the confusion, but there's no worry about that. They will be back, which is good because they're probably one of my most used dies. All right, now I'm going to take this little image here, this little scalloped image, and uh, I'm just going to create a shelf for my vase to sit on. And then I'm going to, and that was gray granite ink, and then I'm going to take and stamp my, um, my vase, this time in Calypso Coral ink. So we're going to add another color to our color scheme or color combination. Okay, and then I'm just going to set that uh, kind of off to the side, but right on top of my shelf. Okay, and then once again, just like before, I'm going to add my flowers. So very simple. Now you might notice that this color is also found in our... Uh, little enamel dots but I stuck with the yellow just because I wanted to have another color in there I didn't want it to be all the same but you um you can see there's lots of different colors to choose from which is wonderful I also like these because they do not take up much uh thickness they're they're very easy to mail and um, do not require additional postage so that's awesome okay so just like before by the way I thought it was a little easier to foof my flowers before I got the glue dots on them so I'm gonna just kind of tuck all of these in like so and then I also am going to take one of these leaves and I'll just get the little centers out but I'm going to just snip off this little two leaf portion. Okay, and then I'm going to put that on my card as well. And I'm just going to kind of tuck that uh, glue dot in underneath on itself so it's not all over the place. And then I'm just going to tuck this in right under this petal right here like so and it just is so simple to do with that take your pick tool and now I've got a cute little greenery sticking out and so this is in granny apple green so there's another color in my color uh, palette color combo and then we've got the dots. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? It's just so cute. Okay, I'm going to clean my sentiment and we're going to bring back in our Bermuda Bay ink and I'll stamp that right down here. And how cute is that? All right, now to finish up our card, I'm just going to pop this up on top. And oops, sorry. just going to pop this up on top and our card is done. So I love that it's quick, it's easy, and it's adorable. All good things. Now, of course, you could do this in all sorts of color combinations, but I really liked this right here. I just thought it was springy and fun. Okay, for our next card, we're going to take it up another notch. Now I'm going to um, start with I've embossed a piece of white 
that is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, and I embossed that with my subtle embossing folder. I'm gonna adhere it to a piece of gray granite that is two and seven eighths by four and three eighths. Grab my glue. Put this on our panel here. There's just a little strip sticking out all around. All right, I also wanna take and attach some baker's twine to this. So I'm gonna grab a length, leaving a few inches on the side to tie a bow, and I'm gonna wrap it around twice, and I'll tie that bow kinda of off to the side like so. Our white baker's twine is getting retired and I I don't even know how to handle that. Like I just don't know you guys. It's mind-boggling to me. Like why? I really wish I was in the meetings where they decide what stays and goes because I feel like I would have something to say. <laughs> And there may be a reason why I would, I'd love to know because <laughs> it's like a staple. Okay, so I've got a cute little bow on there. That's perfect. Now let me grab one last note card from my note card set. And of course, you're going to need to tell me which thing is your favorite. Now I will tell you mine at the end, but let's let me know your favorite in the comments. I always love hearing what which one is your favorite. All right, I'm gonna pop this up onto my card. And then I also am going to do my vase on the shelf on my stitched shape, just like before, but we're gonna change the colors just a touch once again. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, so I'm going to set that aside a little bit here. I've got my gray granite for my shelf. I love this little scallop uh, shelf images. Oops, I inked up the, I do this every time. I ink up the wrong end of it. <laughs> Just ink up the whole thing, Dina, and then you'll be fine. Okay. Oh, goodness, I almost stamped it upside down. That would have been bad. There we go, and I need my vase. Now this time I'm going to stamp it in some Night of Navy ink. And it's gonna be super cute with my little flowers. We'll add these on. And I'm I, what I, one of the things I love about these little flowers is they're really small. So of course you can easily die cut them out of your scraps of paper. And I know you guys are hoarding your little scraps. I know. And so this is a great way to use up some of those scraps that you just can't let go. And it's also, oh, I want to start with my biggest one. <clears throat> it's also really fun to just die cut a whole bunch of these up and then just kind of keep them on hand and then you can um, make cards with them. So for instance, I would die cut this uh, several times in a bunch of different colors and then you can kind of pull different colors together and play with them like that, which is really fun. Okay, now just like before, I'm going to foof up the foof up the <laughs> petals, and then I'm going to take that same little piece here, and I'm going to cut off one, two, three of these little petals, and just like before, we're going to stick them all um, behind. the little flowers okay so and it does really help if you kind of tuck that that uh, little oh I knew that was gonna happen if you tuck <laughs> tuck that glue dot behind everything okay so now I'm gonna tuck this right in here like so 
It looks good. And then, and that's uh, also where I love my take your pick tool because it is really good at helping you handle these little teeny pieces. All right, so I'll tuck another one in over here. And I just want to get it positioned nicely. And then we've got one more little one. I got to get the little center out from that. And I'll tack that on. Um, I, you can also cut your glue dot. I've not ever tried or well, I think maybe I did try a long time ago, but didn't have success with it. But um if you cut your glue dot, you can not have so much glue to glue dot to mess with. But I will say that um, just tucking it seems to work pretty well, and cutting it <laughs> seems like a lot of work. Okay, so there we go. I've got my three little flowers sticking out there, and of course, I need to add my beautiful enamel dot centers because they're just so cute. Okay, and last but not least, I need to add my sentiment, and this time I'll stamp it in some Calypso coral, like so. Oh, so cute. So I'll take this whole piece and we'll pop it up onto our card. Oh, on top of that baker's twine. Now, if there's anything that you need to purchase to create these cards, I would be so grateful if you gave your business to me. It really helps me continue to bring these awesome videos for you each week. I have a great VIP rewards program. And right now, if you spend $50, you'll get an embellishment from me. And if you spend $100 in my online store, you'll get a free host set worth up to, I think the most expensive one is $13 or $14. And so that's a special just available through me. Uh, you can shop my online store. All the links are in the description of this video, along with all the supplies I used, including links to my online store and the um, blog post where I'll post all the photos for these super cute cards. So if you have any questions, please comment. Tell me which one is your favorite. I'd love to know. And I hope that you loved these super cute cards today. I will see you again soon, guys. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.